I was scrolling through my YouTube videos and I noticed that the ones that had the most views had three things in common. So I took to YouTube and I did a little bit of research, research to see if my theory was right. And it turns out that I was right. So there are three things that you need to do to get more views, more engagement and more subscribers on your YouTube channel. And I'm sharing them with you in this video today because I'm all about helping you build your personal brand, build your audience and build an online business. So sit back, relax, hit subscribe and let's get into it. things when I was first starting my YouTube channel, who knows where I could have been today. Because the worst thing is that you make a video, you spend so much time filming the content, you then edit it, you then upload it, you make the title and you just do everything and it literally gets crickets. There's tumbleweed rolling around everywhere and just nobody is watching it. So you feel like you spend so much time making it all for no reason but with these three things you are going to save so much time and you are going to have so much more impact because there's way more chance of your video getting found by new people so we all want that so you may have seen some youtube videos before all about how to get more views such as get a compelling title, make a clear thumbnail, and make sure that you have your description books fill out and use good tags. But these don't really go into depth. I wanna take these four different components and I wanna dive deeper on how you can actually use these different components to get more views, to build your audience, and to make a bigger impact. So first, we are going to start with the title because the title is obviously really important. But I don't wanna just tell you to create a how-to title or a title that is gonna make people want to click I actually have some SEO tips so when it comes to creating your title you want to front load your title with keywords keywords are words ideas and topics that define what your YouTube video is about and a keyword doesn't have to just be one word it can also be a phrase as well so as an example the keyword in the title here is YouTube growth so the keyword is what I wanted to put at the beginning of the title and actually another tip when it comes to your title is using brackets now you can put words that are kind of captivating to people inside of the brackets so if you use the word shocking or if you use the word new discovery or if you use real stories things like that they're things that will actually get people clicking if you put them in brackets okay because brackets kind of separate them from the rest of the title you can also put them in capital letters as well and a bonus tip here when it comes to your title is you should put the year in your title so right now it's 2019 when i'm filming this but when it becomes the year 2020 i'm just gonna go back and i'm gonna on my youtube i'm gonna type in 2019 i can then see all of the videos that have the title 2019 in them and i can just simply edit them to say 2020 because then they stay up to date they stay on trend and they stay searchable because people literally type in how to get more views on youtube in 2019 so next year they're not going to be typing that in because it's going to be old-fashioned it's going to be outdated but if i change my title then boom what was your uncle so make sure that you put the year in some of your titles as well that will help you get more views you'll be more likely to be found on the current and trending videos so with that said now let's move on to the next tip this one's all about thumbnails so here's the thing when you first start your youtube channel they don't actually let you have a custom thumbnail until you have a certain amount of subscribers or a certain amount of minutes viewed on your channel but when you have custom thumbnails, please, for goodness sake, make your own thumbnail. So there is a free website that you can use to do that. It is literally canva.com. Go here, make your thumbnails. They have an app as well, but I recommend using it on your desktop. It's much easier on the website. So with that said, you can make your own thumbnails. Now, here's the thing. I created a limit and that limit is 35 characters of text in your thumbnail because if there are too many words in your thumbnail it gets confusing for people because the thumbnail needs to stand out it needs to be something that when people see it they immediately know what the video is about don't do clickbait in either your title or your thumbnails big big youtubers get away with clickbait because their audience is engaged they already they want to find out what drama's gone on in their life but when you're first starting out you are much better off to do these how to and these tip style videos this is a bonus tip by the way to help you get more views this actually isn't related to the title of the thumbnail but 
It's better for you to do videos that are like how to's or three tips to mm, all around one particular topic. So that's gonna help you grow even more because these are things that people are searching for. YouTube is the second biggest search engine in the world. Google is the number one biggest search engine, but YouTube is owned by Google. So anyway, with that said, what you need to do for your thumbnails, you need to make them have a short amount of text on them and then you need to make them clear. You need to make them stand out. So YouTube's colors are black, they're red and they're white, okay? So these three colors are colors that you do not want to be using in your thumbnails. You want to use opposite colors such as orange, green, purple, yellow, blue like all these colors are not black white and red so use colors that aren't black white and red because then your youtube thumbnail is gonna pop out and people are gonna be like oh, i can actually see it everyone else is using black and white in their thumbnails you want to be standing out and you want to be different okay so you want to make your thumbnail really clear where every single time you make a youtube video think title thumbnail and then film the video it will make it so much easier for you or if you know that you're going to be making a video make sure that you actually take a thumbnail a rectangular photo okay so if you're taking it on your iphone or your phone you want to go like that take it because if you take it in the selfie format you know the just the portrait mode you know you want to make sure that it is actually a landscape because that is how youtube thumbnails are formatted so if you're using a camera just snap a pic and then you are good to go but you want to make sure your thumbnail is clear and you can see just just scroll through my youtube and you can see all of my thumbnails and you can see the videos that i've performed the best just look at other people's thumbnails see what they're writing on them and see how they're doing it you can see that i didn't write the entire title out on the thumbnail again i literally just took the smallest amount of text i possibly could and put it on the thumbnail which is probably going to be ending up being something like get more youtube views or something Something like that use logos where you can so you can see i put the youtube logo on there because that is instantly recognizable to people these things get people's attention okay so thumbnails are all about getting attention titles are more about seo because the title people don't necessarily read that until they've already seen the thumbnail the thumbnail is what stands out first their eyes will go to the thumbnail first and then it will go to the title if they like what they see tip number three is all about keywords but before i touch upon keywords i want to give you another bonus tip because i i always want to go above and beyond because by the way if you're enjoying this video make sure to hit thumbs up and subscribe because i have plenty more videos like this coming but anyway with that said there is actually the description box so in your description box there are lots of different things that you can do the first thing is upload default so i'm gonna jump on a screen recording to show you exactly how you can do this but first i need to let you know that to save you time i have actually created the most optimal youtube description box template that you can grab so i'm going to be leaving that as the very first link in the description box below so make sure to click that link sign up for it and then it will get delivered straight to your email if you find that it hasn't got to your email within 10 minutes make sure to check your junk mail and if it's in your junk mail move it to your inbox if it's still not there just sign up again and it should get sent to you so you're gonna head to your creator studio and then you're going to click on channel and then there's a little tab which says upload default so just click on that tab and then you'll see it says description. Then you can take the document that I have sent to you. You might wanna paste it out into Google Docs or something, and then you can just edit the bits that are kind of underlined and where you should basically be pasting your own information, and then copy all that, paste it into your description. So that's gonna help, but that's not necessarily going to help with you getting more views. When it comes to your description, what is going to help with more views is actually this thing that I'm about to tell you here. So YouTube can actually, it scans your description because basically it looks at your title it looks at your thumbnail and it looks at your description to figure out what your youtube video is about to ensure that it ranks you in the best place possible so with that said in your description box you just need to make let's say you're writing an instagram caption about your youtube video that's what you need to put in your description it doesn't matter where you put it in your description box you've got thousands and thousands of characters i believe it's like five thousand or something but it's best to put it at the top because if you put it at the top then people who are scrolling through YouTube are actually going to see it. Some people do read that before they click on a YouTube video. I know that when I'm looking for a piece of information in particular, I will read what it says. And if within the first couple of sentences, it doesn't sound good, I will scroll right on by. So you need to make essentially an Instagram caption 
for your YouTube video and just put it at the top of your YouTube description. So that is going to help you get more views. And then finally, let's talk about tagging on your YouTube videos. This is the final piece of metadata that is really going to help you get more views and get more people finding your amazing content. And that's actually one thing to note, you know, you're not going to get good views even if you have all of this stuff perfect and nailed if your content isn't good. So please just make sure that your content is good for goodness sake. So anyway, with that said, when it comes to your hashtags, you will see that there are 500 characters that you can use. So here's the thing. Again, just like you want to front load your title with keywords, you want to front load your tags with the keywords that are going to make the biggest impact and that are the most related to your video. So for example, I'm basically going to put in a screenshot of the hashtags that I am going to be using for this YouTube video. So how do you decide which tags to use? Well, the first and most important thing is that you shouldn't max out all of the tags. You should only use tags that are directly related to your video because here's the thing. If you're using tags that aren't related to the video, let's say you were doing a video all about how to get more views on YouTube and then you make the tag Instagram growth. YouTube is going to be really confused and they're going to think, oh, maybe this video isn't about YouTube growth. So instead of putting you as a suggested video next to other YouTube videos all about YouTube growth, they're actually, it's, it essentially gets diluted down. The impact is missing. So instead, it's basically like you should have just not used that tag because you're not gonna get ranked next to these Instagram growth videos. So why bother even trying? Okay, so you should instead hedge all of your bets on one specific thing and just put tags around that. So you can see clearly that when it comes to your tags, they just need to relate to your video. Then if you want to see the rest of my tags, there is actually something that you can download. It's called vidIQ. If you look at the second link in the description box below, it's just below the one all about how to get that email template so it's sent out to you for your YouTube description box. It's actually, they have a free trial on that link. That's my affiliate link, full disclosure. But the reason I use it is because I love it. It means that when I go onto anyone's YouTube video, now that I have this extension Stores, I can see all the tags that they're using. So if I go onto YouTube and I see another video all about how to get YouTube views and to get more engagement and all that, I can literally just look at the tags that the people who are performing the best are using. And then that means that I can get more views based upon the tags that they're using. It is amazing. It is such a good hack, but for real, it's super, super good. So download that, then you can see all of the other tags that I use because I don't want to bore you by going into this whole entire thing right now. But there are some other ways that you can think of keywords when it comes to not just the tags that you're going to be using, but also for titles of your YouTube video. So if you go to keywordtool.io, again, I'll leave it linked below just so that you have some easy resources there. You can get some more keywords. So if I was to type in YouTube views on keyword tool IO, here's what comes up. There's also another Chrome extension that you can download called keywords everywhere. That means that every time you type it into Google, you're basically you're going to see like all of these keywords that people are typing into Google as well related to the keyword that you typed into Google. Wow, that is meta. But it means that you can get ideas for YouTube videos because obviously you need to have good ideas for YouTube videos in order to get views in the first place. So I'm going to stop with all of my tips now because I want to give it over to my gal Vanessa. So I'm collaborating with Vanessa on this. I've given you the first half of all of the tips here. She has the rest of them on her YouTube. So the very first top link above all of the resources that I had you will see is a link to her video. Make sure to go and watch it now. Hit subscribe on her channel. Her tips are amazing. She is all about helping you build your social media and grow your following. So if you'd like this video, you are gonna love all of her tips. She's awesome, she's amazing. She's over in Vancouver, so I have not met her because I am here in England but we're gonna meet one day and we can collab in real life. So that video is gonna be amazing. She's awesome, go watch it now, go subscribe. Make sure to, firstly, after you've done that, download my email description box thingy that you can then get sent straight to you. It means that you just have a template for your description box on your YouTube videos. Save you so much time so you don't have to type it every single time. It will just be there, filled out, pre-populated every single time you upload already. After that, the next thing for you to do is to then download and make sure you subscribe to vidIQ because it's so good. Oh, I mean, it's not that they're sponsoring this video or anything. I am an affiliate, but that's only because I went out of my way to become an affiliate because it is so good and I wanted to tell everybody about it. Um, yeah, so then you can stalk everyone and see what tags they're using. So that's handy. And that's how you can get more YouTube views in 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, whatever year it is, because I'll always be changing it because that's another hack. Really, this is more than three hacks, but um, yeah. 
I always want to give you more information and as much as possible. By the way, if you like this, I also have a podcast called Impact School. Make sure to hit subscribe on that. You can listen to it on any podcast provider such as Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everywhere. So that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.